Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Dimitrio. Been an entrepreneur for a very long time, about 27 years. Been a successful business owner and today I'd like to talk about how to avoid entrepreneur burnout. Like everything in life, you need to have balance, but when you're running a business or starting a business in particular, especially during that startup phase, it's pretty tough to maintain, you know, a what we call a balanced lifestyle. So what I'd like to do in this video is to give you three strategies, that's three, that you can use to uh, maintain some balance. And if you stick to the end, I'll give you a bonus that kind of ties it all in. So having, let's, having said that, let's get into it. The first one I think I alluded to is balance, but it's very hard because that's kind of an oxymoron uh, word. When you're starting up a business, uh, balance sometimes doesn't come into play. It's uh, one of those things where when you start something like this, especially a business, there's no blueprint. So you're going to put in a lot of time, energy and resources just to get it up and going. So getting that balance that I'm talking about is hard. But you need to do it because there's the delusion. If you do not have balance, you don't have anything. So balance, what I mean by that is finding time to take time off. To physically get away from you know the computer get away from you know the the day-to-day -day activities of running a business go for a walk get a diversion have a coffee do something else you need to have that break up throughout the day it's hard to do though because when you're in the moment of it it's hard to walk away but balance is critical the second thing number two the second thing I think you need to do is set professional boundaries what I mean by that is if your business is not a 24-7 operation, then don't be available 24-7. Clients need to know your professional boundaries. They need to know when they can come and talk to you when they can't. Because you need to be able to turn that off, right? Again, if you're not a professional 24-hour, 7 days a week service, you don't need to be on 24-7. You need to set professional boundaries. The third thing that I think you need to do, and this is very important, is develop systems. Systems, what I mean by is, systems to help run your business. Now this thing will evolve as you evolve as a business owner. So when you initially start, you'll have certain simple systems in terms of your simple bookkeeping, business development, client relations, you know, all those different facets of running a business. And over time, they will evolve as you evolve. So allow that to happen. It's not one size fits all. Unfortunately, you have to learn through what I call hard, knock, hard, hard knocks, which is of course going through it. So you have to make sure that uh, you know you give yourself chance to develop these systems because as you improve, your systems improve, which means makes life a little bit easier when you're getting to that point where your business is up and running and hopefully successful. The bonus is of course, enjoy the journey. When you're doing this, you have to realize that it's not the destination, it's the journey. It takes time. Rome wasn't built in a day and neither is running a successful business and starting it. So enjoy yourself, take the time. Otherwise, what's the point? If you enjoy this content, please subscribe to the channel. I'm up, updating every week. If you have a comment, please leave it at the, at the comment section because I review all of those. Have a great day. Bye for now.